Hello, everyone. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Hey, what's going on? Good to hear you. Good to see you. Welcome to our new session today. Um, I would like to know how was your day? Say hello and tell us how was your day? Yeah, let's start with um, Oscar. Okay, maybe we have a bad connection. Let's go with Judith. Good evening, teacher. My day was uh, great. Oh yeah, why? Yes, I did all my uh, duties. Oh yeah? Yes, in my job. And um, we solved uh, some problems. Really? With, yes, but everything is okay. All right, I'm very happy to hear about that. Yeah, you, you solve some problems, you comply with your objectives at work. So let's say that you have a successful, a very successful day in your company. I'm glad yes. to hear that means. What, what do you do? What's your position, by the way? I am an assistant. Like administrative assistant? Yes. All right, all right, great, great. Thank you for the information. Yes, of the CEO. Of the CEO, that's nice. Let me hear Iris. Welcome, Iris. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh huh. Excuse me, I uh, repeat the question, teacher. Oh, I know, uh, Iris. <laughs> your day, about your day. How is your day or how was it? Uh, I was very tired. Tiring. Hard, yeah. Hard. <clears throat> because um, I my song um, in your in your um, school uh, exposition in the morning. Wait, wait! That there was an exposition. There was an exposition. There, there was an exposition in the in the, in the morning. Yes, in oh. in my homework is um. I don't know, say tienda. Store. A store, yeah. And they're, they're running uh, the school uh, between a uh, uh, work yeah. all day. Very hard. Oh, nice. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. What about you, Francisco? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. My dad is um, my subscribe in, uh, no sé cómo se dice clases de manejo. <laughs> Driving classes? Driving classes, yes, yes, yes. And I, I started in Thursday. Um, so let's <laughs> You started on Thursday. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. That's good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. So you will get your um, your driver's license, huh? Oh yes, uh, for para hacer un trabajo más al futuro, un job. <laughs> in case, uh, in case you get a job, huh? In case you get a job. Yes. All right, that's good. That's good. And uh, you, teacher? How was yesterday? How is your day? How is your day? Repeat, how's your day? How's today? Oh, well, my day is awesome. Thank you for asking. Um, very, very satisfactory for me. I worked in the morning, taught a class. Then I taught another class in a different place in the afternoon. And now I am here with you. So I am also blessed, I can say. Thank you for asking. Okay, um, teacher. What about Naomi Estrada? Tell us, Naomi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Tell us. Oh, 
Okay. Um, what about um, Jose? Are you there? Say hello and, and explain how's your day or how was your day? Hi, everyone. Uh, my day has been a good day. It has been a, a relaxing day. I don't know how to say it because in my work, everything, everything was okay. I didn't have a, too much stress. And after my work, I went to the gym and I recently came home and I'm tired, but happy. Okay. And that's it. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm sorry I don't connect my camera. I don't have internet connection in this moment. So I'm using my mobile data. I'm using my mobile data. So I'm about to turn on my I'm about to turn on my internet for some moments, okay? Um now let me hear who else? Salvador? Good evening, teacher and classmate. Tell us, how's your day? I have a good day in my work. Really? Really? Why? I I have meetings, reuniones. You have meetings today? See, I can I can to talk with my friend in the work. Oh yeah. That sounds interesting. What do you do? What do you do, Salvador? Uh, I am a, a pastor. You're a pastor. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, what about Vidal Mejia? Uh huh. Mr. Vidal, can you speak? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. How's your day? How's your day? Okay, we have a bad connection again. Um, let's go ahead and uh, start the class, guys. Thank you for your talk. Yeah, me too. Me too, Ingrid. Yeah, me too. I have some internet problems, so I'm using my mobile data right now. So for some moments, I'm going to turn off the camera, okay? For some moments, I'm going to turn off my camera, but um, I'll try my best to be with you. Um, no problem, Ingrid. I understand. Let me go ahead and share now my screen. Okay. Let me know if you can visualize my screen. Uh, one moment. Yes. Yes, yes right you now. can. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome to the ones that are just connecting to the class. It's a pleasure having you around. So let me maximize the video. And we will talk about indirect questions with WH words. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? 
There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be. And we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we'll do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right. And then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I will ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case, it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now, let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verse. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this uh, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word. So in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying, the bank, we're not going to say the restrooms. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. 
And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, it's going to be how often. All right. And then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is the buses. And then that is followed by the verb. And so in this case, it's no longer the verb to be, but now it's the verb leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking. So you can ask in the form of, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Um, and then it just repeats itself with do you know. So in this case, we're going to use do you know. That's the second question there. Do you know what time the bank opens? So let me go ahead and write that example now. Do you know? That follows the WH word, so in this case is what time. Then that follows the subject. And one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question, we remove the auxiliary verb. So we don't include does or do. It no longer exists in our indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? And the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an S. And that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present, therefore we need an S as you can see there. And uh, well, let's do the last one there. Uh, what, um, when did flight five Six six arrive. So in that case, um, the question could be, "Do you know?" And the WH word is when. And uh, the subject is flight five six six. Right. And in this case, we have to change the verb to the past because we're not we're not using an auxiliary, uh, like we're using the auxiliary. When did fly five six six arrive? In this case, this verb is in the present, but that's because we're using the auxiliary did. So in this case, since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned, we need to change that verb to the past form. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some questions here. These are common questions that people ask whenever they visit another country, another city, a place you're not familiar with. What are those questions? For example, how much do taxes cost? And remember that our goal is to change these direct questions into indirect questions. And you're going to follow this formula that I gave you. So how much do taxes cost? Well, you're going to use do you know or could you tell me or can you tell me and then already people so those are the questions that we have picture them picture them and um, we're going to uh, transfer them into indirect questions okay let's go ahead and do it do you have any questions so far Do you understand the exercise? Yo no entendí nada. <laughs> yes, teacher. Teacher, uh, yes. when they change the verb, when do you know, cuando no lleva el did? I don't know what to say. Oh, when it's in simple past. Yeah. Well, it changes. Let's see. Where do we have that one? When did the Me? when did flight five six six arrive? Yes, it's gonna change. Um, do you know? We're gonna use do you know when flight five six six arrived? So we're going to omit. We're going to omit the did auxiliary on the indirect question. 
Yes. What you're gonna do is that this verb is gonna go in past. That's the change. Only use in the question, teacher, the verb. In the, in the indirect question, honey, because you're using, do you know? You're making the question with the simple present. Do you know? And then you combine when flight 566 arrived. You're going to use the simple past here, okay? You're not going to use this. Let me see. What else? Um, simple present, where is the bank? You can use, could you tell me where the bank is? Let me just turn on my camera one second. Okay, there you go. Okay, now let me share once again. I'm sorry. There you go. Show, show, show. Okay, perfect. You can see my screen again, right? Yeah. Yes, okay, perfect. So when it's in simple present, like where is the bank? The bird to be is gonna go at the end, you see? Could you tell me where the bank is? Instead of where is the bank? What do we, why do we do these guys? We do these because it's more polite. Indirect question is more formal. It's, it's like more polite, practically. Uh, if you say, hey, excuse me, where is the bank? It's like very direct. You know what I mean? It's very direct. So when you make it indirect, you sound more formal. Could you tell me where the bank is? Where are the restrooms? Mm, you, can say, you can say that. Excuse me, where are the restrooms? That sounds formal, right? But even more polite is the indirect question. Do you know where the restrooms are? Do you know where the restrooms are? Um, how often do the buses leave? Um, could you, can you tell me how often the buses leave? So we omit the auxiliary, you see? We omit the auxiliary do, goes away. Can you tell me how often the buses leave? The verb, the verb at the end, right? What time does the bank open? Do you know what time the bank opens in third person? Because we're talking in simple present. And the last one that we were explaining before, when did flight 566 arrive? This is a simple past question. And when you transfer into indirect question, it changes. We omit the auxiliary and this verb, it's in simple past. Do you know when the flight 566 arrived? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Here we have, how much do taxes cost? Where should I go shopping? Where can I get a map? Put the question mark there. And where is a good place to meet friends? Let's start with the first one. How much do taxes cost? Can you transfer the question into indirect question? Would be, excuse me, can you tell me how much uh, the taxes cost? Correct. Could you tell me how much, how much the taxes, how much taxes, how much taxes cost? Okay, thank you so much. Can you well, tell me how much taxes cost? How about in El Salvador? How about in El Salvador? Um, give me an answer, Marlon. Marlon Paniagua, give me an answer. Uh, the answer to? The answer. Um, could you tell me how much taxes cost in El Salvador? Uh, um, the taxes cost um, $10 uh, or $20. Or $20. Depending, right? Depending the Depending. distance. <laughs> yeah. It's a little tricky question. Nice. Let's go to the next one. 
Where should I go shopping? Where should I go shopping? Can you make it into indirect question, please? Any volunteer? Do you, excuse me, do you know where should I go shopping? Okay, okay, excuse me. Can you tell me where should I go shopping? Very well, thank you, Eliseo. Um, if you are in your city, whatever your city is, right? Uh, can you tell us, can you tell us or could you tell me uh, where should I go shopping? Give me an answer, give me an answer. Uh, let me see, let me see. It depends on the things that you want to buy. Depend on your, depending on your likes, right? Excuse me, um, Noemi, where, can you tell me where should I go shopping? Um, al shopping center. <laughs> <laughs> valid commercial so you can valid say code. you should go you should go you, you should, should go, go shopping you should go shopping center you should go shopping to shopping center all right all right next question where can i get a map can you make it into indirect question please Do you know where can I get a map? Okay, do you know where can I get a map? If we are in your city, um, where can I, can you tell me where can I get a map? On your phone. Simply in the app store. Huh? In the app store is so... uh -huh. In the, in the, in Santana, uh -huh. in the Alcaldía Municipal. Turismo. Yeah, but try to use me this. You can get it. Say, you can, you can get, get it. it. Repeat, guys. You can get it. You can get it. Yes. You or can you can get, get or you can get a map at the city hall, Alcaldia, city hall. Yes, city hall. Nice. Turismo. It's true. It's true. It's it's free, right? It's free. No money, right? No, no money. It's it's free. It's free. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Next question. Where is a good place? to meet friends? Make it indirect question. Where is a good place to meet friends? Make it indirect question. Excuse me, could you tell me? Do you know where's a good place to meet friends? Okay, okay, okay. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? You can say, could you tell me? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Remember that the verb goes at the end. Can you tell me a good place? Yeah? Sometimes you can say it that way. Let's say, um, could you tell me um, where where a good place to meet friends? Where's a good place to meet friends? In my case, in my city, maybe in a park, <laughs> maybe at the supermarket. I don't know. Maybe, what about? Maybe Bam Bang. Bam Bang, what's that? A restaurant? Bam Bang, Bam Bang Coffee. Bam Bam Coffee, ah, oh, sounds good. Maybe at a, a bakery. Cafe. At a bakery, huh? At bakery. a bakery. Bam Bam is a bakery. Ah, okay. It's a bakery, huh? I didn't know. I didn't know. Interesting. Caltepet. <laughs> Caltepet. What about in a, in an English course online, huh? You can make friends in an English course online because you also uh, chat and practice. Yes. So it could be, huh? It could be. Where is a good place to meet friends? Metro at university. Metro Centro at the mall. What did you say, Michelle? At the university. At the university. That's right. That's a good place. That's a very good place. Where? In the gym. Hey, it's true. In the gym. 
Um, well, many people actually get boyfriends or girlfriends at the gym, huh? Nah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the Not problem. Not, in your, Not no. in your case. Not in your case. So no. you go to the gym, huh? That's good. Exercise. Exercise. I want you, I want you to let me see. We have many women and we have many gentlemen. That's nice. Okay, very good. Um we're going to chat a question similar with these ones. WH question with B, I need a WH question with the bird to B. Can you give one? I need one direct question, similar to where is the bank? Where are the restrooms? Can you give one example? Where is, give me an example with where is. Where, where is, is the ATM? Where is the ATM? Listen, where is the ATM? Where is the ATM? Let's make it indirect. Raise, Excuse raise. Me. Can you tell me where the ATM is? Correct, correct. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the ATM is? And we have a chat. Where is, the, where is the bus station? Okay, Alejandra, we're gonna use that one right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so excuse me. Um, could you tell me, right? Very, very formal. I suggest you to use, could you tell me? It's a lot more polite than do you know, right? It's more polite to use, could you tell me? Uh, we have this one by Alejandra. It says, where is the bus station? Let me see. Let me see. One volunteer, raise your hand, make it indirect. Where Which is one? the gas the bus station? Go ahead, Marlon. We have Marlon. Go ahead. Uh, could you call you tell me where uh, the bus station is? Correct. Could you give me the could? Remember the L is silent. You don't pronounce the L. So you say could. Could you tell me where the bus station is? Where is the bus station? That's a good question. Okay, here we have another one. Let me check. Let me check. Where is the church? Where is the church? Volunteer, where is the church? Make it indirect. Raise your hand. Do you know what the church is? Correct, correct. Excuse me, Jose. Do you know where the church is? I have to make it polite or what? You have to I answer me. Give, me. give me a direction. Ah. Could you tell me where the church is? Uh, you have to go three blocks straight. And on your left side, you will see it. All right. It will be there. Huh? It will be there. All right, uh, Jen, Judith says, Mr. Kalev, where is the bookstore? So it would be, could you tell me where the bookstore is? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Judith is gonna give a direct question using the verb to be, where is or where are? Okay, Judith, you will give a question to the classmates, go ahead. Okay. Um... Eliseo, where is the, <laughs> the bar? The bar, okay. Yes. <laughs> Eliseo, can you make it indirect? Excuse me, do you know where the park is? <laughs> it was bar. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, do you know where where the bar is. Okay, very well, very well. Let's go with WH word with do or did. Okay. Um, for example, how often do the buses leave? 
Okay. Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Okay. Let's prepare. Let's prepare a question with how often. Maybe using do or maybe using does. Prepare one direct question, please. Chat it or say it. How often? How often? Do or das? If you don't say it, I will say it. Okay. Uh, when did Barcelona play? Oh, wait. We're in here. We're in here. How often? I want you to use how often. Do or das? Make okay. an example. How often, how often does Barcelona play? Okay, okay, that sounds perfect. How often does Barcelona play? Okay, this is a question for the men. <laughs> Maybe few women may answer, huh? How often do Barcelona play, guys? Can you make it indirect question? Uh-huh. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? How often Barcelona played? Um, when is in simple present? Does place, place. Play. No, sorry. Uh -huh. Can you tell me how often Barcelona plays? Correct. Can you tell me how often Barcelona plays? Very well, very well. So we eliminate the do, right? The auxiliary doesn't appear in the indirect question. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Good job. Okay. Another one. Another one. Make it indirect. Raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand. I'm going to tell you one question with how often. Yeah. For example, how often, how often does he go to the gym? How often does he go to the gym? Okay, Oscar. Uh -huh. How often does he go to the gym? Make it indirect. Can you tell me how often he goes? To the gym. Correct. Does he go to the gym? No, because in the indirect question, you eliminate the auxiliary, remember? That's why he has to say it in third person. Can you tell me how often he goes to the gym? Mm, okay. Got it? Got it. Okay, okay, okay. I only hear like three students participating, guys. Come on. Let's use what time? What time? For example, what time does the bank open? And we can say, do you know what time the bank opens? In third person, because we are eliminating the auxiliary does. Okay. Can you tell me um, what time? Okay. For example, wait, I have a chat here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So I have a question here. What time, what time does, what time does Carlos finish work? What time does Carlos finish work? Se pueden usar dos verbos juntos sin el to, en infinitivo. No. Nope. It's, for, it's because of the finished work. I thought it was finished to work. Finished to work. Finished work. Oh, what happens is that work in this case is not a verb. It's not a verb. It's an object. 
Mm -hmm. So it will be finishes. It will be finishes, right? Do you know what time mm -hmm. Carlos finishes to work? Do you know what time Carlos finishes work? Mm -hmm. Not the action, but the but the uh, object. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's make one with do. Teacher is uh, finishes work or finishes to work. Finishes finishes work. Okay. Because in Spanish it will be um, termina el trabajo, no termina de trabajar, right? Okay. Let me see. I can hear well, Oscar. Okay. Uh, let me see. Alejandra says, "What time does the movie start?" Only one verb. You can use the start or you can use begin. Only one verb. Okay. So you will say, what time does the movie start? Let's use a start. Okay, guys. What time does the movie start? Can you tell me what time the movie starts? Correct. Can you tell me what time the movie starts? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? You can use any of these. Yeah. Which is the most formal? Could you tell me? Yeah. All right. I want you to now chat questions direct questions i need direct questions in the chat so we can make it indirect chat me direct questions i want you to use the verb to be and i want you to use the auxiliaries do or does for example excellent excellent we have how often, we have what time. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Continue, continue. I need more with the bird to be. Yeah, with the bird to be. And then with the singular of the bird to be is, with the plural of the bird to be are. Okay. Chat one question, everyone, and then you can start with the auxiliary do or does. Use the bird to be and use the auxiliary do or does. We're gonna we're gonna make people transfer these questions into indirect questions. Excellent, Francisco. How often do you visit the gym? Siempre capital letter al principio, ¿verdad? Letra mayúscula al principio. Okay, very good. Sorry. It's all right. How often do you go, do you go shopping? Okay, how often do you go shopping? When the English class level finish, when does? Póngame ahí bien, el does. Um, what time does the class start? Very well, Eduardo. Thank you. Salvador says, what time do you leave work? That's a good one. What time do you leave work? That's a good one. Thank you. Okay, very well. Capital letter, Elisa. Can you tell me? Wait, wait, don't give me the indirect yes. Don't, don't give me the indirect question yet. Uh, Jocelyn says, what time does the series, series start? Okay. Francisco, when does the trip start? Okay. Very well. Okay, get ready. Get ready. In these 15 minutes, we're going to work in groups of three, okay? One is going to uh, say... I'm sorry, in pairs, we're gonna um, say the question. I'm gonna choose the question and you will make it in indirect and a student B will give an answer. You can improvise, you can use your imagination, 
as long as you give us an answer, okay? Very well. So I'm gonna choose because they are have they have been very participative today. I'm gonna choose Jose and I'm gonna choose Eliseo, okay? Jose, you wanna be A or B? Okay. A or B? A. Okay, then Eliseo, you're gonna give the answer. Jose, you will make the question into indirect. Ready? Okay. All right, excellent. Mm. So your question is gonna be, the one by Michelle. Michelle says, how often does your sister visit the dentist? Uh, excuse me, can you tell me how often does, how often your sister visits the dentist? Good job. Okay, Eliseo, do you have an answer for that? Well, um, I live far of my sister, <laughs> but I, I think she visits, she visits uh, the dentist uh, sometimes. All right, well done, well done. Let me choose Judith and Michelle, ready? Who wants to be A, who wants to be B? A, okay, Judith oh. makes the question, you transfer into indirect, and Michelle, you give us an answer. You can improvise, you can use your imagination. Okay. So the How? question is, wait, wait, wait. The, the question for you is, what time does the football match start? I have to do the answer? You have to transfer it into indirect question. Ah, okay. What time does the football match start? Can you tell me what time the football play match? Start. The football match. <laughs> the football match start. We're missing something there. Since we're eliminating the auxiliary does. Okay. Then you have to say the verb in the third person. Start. Okay. okay, I repeat it. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me? <laughs> what time? <laughs> what time the football match start? Mm -hmm. okay. I think so the football match football ball match start at 8 p.m. It will be it will be uh, starts. Okay. Starts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again? So I think uh, the football match starts. Repeat. I think the football match starts at 8 p.m. Very well. Good job. Okay, let's choose Eduardo and Salvador. Ready? Who wants to be A or B? Okay, Eduardo, in that case, you will be A. You will make the question into indirect. Salvador, get ready to answer. Your question is, how often do you visit the gym. Okay. Uh, could you tell me how often uh, goes to the gym? Could you tell me how often you visit the gym? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I, I never visited the gym. You never visit the gym, huh? It's okay, man. Don't go to that place, huh? Don't go to that place. <laughs> no problem. Let me go with Regina. Let's go with Regina and Noemi. Who wants to be A? Who wants to be B? A. A. Who's A? It is? Noemi. Noemi. Okay, Noemi, you make the question into indirect. The question is, how often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? shopping. Make it indirect. Do you go shopping? 
Do you go shopping? Make it indirect. Remember, indirect is polite. You have to say, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Yeah? Could you tell me? Uh, go to the shopping. How often? Okay, it is, it is. Help Noemi, we're gonna switch roles. Please, please. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Please. Iris is gonna help you. Okay, the question, let me repeat it again. The question is, how often do you go to the gym? The shopping, the shopping. Oh, shopping? I'm sorry. I the gym. DL file, I'm sorry. The question is, how often do you go shopping? The gym, Sunday, Monday, Thursdays. Uh -huh, it is. So, yeah. How often <laughs> do you go shopping? Make it indirect, it is. Could you tell me how often do the shopping? I'm sorry, repeat. Would you tell me how often the shopping? Mm, you're missing go. Could you tell me how often you go? You go the shopping. You go shopping. Go shopping is the activity. Repeat again. Would you tell me how often go shopping? How often you how go, often you go shopping? And repeat this, repeat this. Could. Could you tell me? Could. How, could you tell me? Could. Could you tell me yes. how often go <laughs> to the shopping? Mire, no, no, vamos hasta que lo diga bien, mis. Oiga. Okay, okay. How often you go? How often you go? How often you go? Shopping. How often you go? Ahora shopping. toda, could you tell me how often could you, you go shopping? Me? Could you tell me how often you go shopping? Yes. <laughs> I repeat. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh, Naomi, how often? Could you tell us how often you go shopping, Naomi? 